Hi, I'm Elena from DataCamp. Welcome to the third episode of the Admin University series, where we explore best practices to help you launch a successful learning program with DataCamp. In previous videos, we covered setting up learners on DataCamp and tactics for driving up engagements. Today, we'll focus on your next goal, tracking your program's success and reporting on its outcomes. There are plenty of learning insights and reports available for admins and managers in DataCamp's Group Hub. Some reports might have little data for you now, but as learners engage with the platform, you will see something like this. The most important charts are located on your main Group Hub dashboard. Let's go over all the ways you can measure engagement and then dive into ways you can measure skill acquisition and improvement. Take a look at the total hours spent learning chart. This chart shows the amount of time spent in hours by all learners within your organization. Pay attention to the overall trend line. Ideally, the total hours spent learning should always be an upward trend line. If you see it stagnating, make sure to check out our previous video on how to increase learner engagement. To ensure accurate measurement of learning time, we have implemented a 5-minute inactivity limit, excluding individuals who have simply opened DataCamp in another browser tab. Active members last month shows the number of users that earned some experience points last month. It means that they logged in and did some learning on DataCamp. To see your data champions, open the leaderboard. By default, the leaderboard is available to all the group members, so they can see how their colleagues are doing as well. You can identify top learners who earn the most XP and complete the most courses, reach out to them, and share their stories with those who haven't been learning at DataCamp. In the next video, we'll talk a bit more in detail about how you can use DataCamp to encourage a vibrant data culture. If you want to track how your organization benchmarks against other DataCamp for business customers, head over to the Insight and Analytics and open the Engagement Report. For each report in Insights and Analytics section, you can see learning statistics for specific teams and for the organization as a whole. Next, you might be interested in what content learners engage with on DataCamp. The Total Unit Completions dashboard can help you with that. A unit corresponds to an assessment, course, chapter, practice exercise or project. At DataCamp, our philosophy is learn by doing, and this is powered by our learning framework, the ALPA loop, which stands for Assess, Learn, Practice, Apply and Repeat. This means whether as part of your assignments or while exploring the platform on their own, learners will most likely engage with assessments, courses, practice pools, and real-world projects. Regardless of whether you're upskilling business users in data literacy or more technically-minded learners in Python, R, or SQL, you can deep dive into content analytics by clicking on the View Content Insights button. This page helps you understand which technology your members are learning and the most enrolled and completed courses. Often this page is most useful when you see things you didn't expect. For example, if many members have spontaneously decided to learn Scala, that will prompt a really interesting conversation with them about why they think Scala is useful. Diving deeper into content insights can help you adjust your learning program and ensure that you sustain your learner's engagement. Last but not least, you might need to report on the program ROI. Learning programs do not have standardized metrics, and each organization usually chooses to report on what matters the most to them. Through the years, we've gathered the best practices from DataCamp clients and put them into the learning program ROI guide. This guide will be linked in the video description. In this video, we've explored multiple ways how you can track and report on the program's success. In the next video, we'll cover best practices and tips for encouraging a vibrant data culture within your organization. By ingraining continuous learning into your organization's identity, you can maintain a competitive edge and ensure readiness for future changes.